In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an animated solar system template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added the eight planets uh, with the sun which is going to rotate around the sun and the sun also rotate on its own axis. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here the sun started rotating on its own axis and on my next click, the first planet which is the closer to the sun is mercury it will start rotating you can see here i've just put the text and this text you can replace with any other text or you can add more details also there so then when i click it will start the venus you can see here the second planet the venus will start rotating and on my next click the earth will start rotating you can see here then you can just click on the mars you can see here then the Jupiter will start so depending on your requirement based on your uh, frequency you can click one by one so you can see here now the Saturn started rotating and then I can wait till the Saturn pass maybe and then I'm just going to click on the the next one is the Uranus and the last one is the Neptune so let me just click here the Neptune so you can see here all planets started rotating around the sun so this is a very good slide for the teachers as well as for the students to understand the solar system visually and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university you can join my whatsapp group uh, with the help of this link and it is also added in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is also provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial for this tutorial i have used 2019 version or if you're using 365 version that is the most latest one then it's going to work and I have used the 3D models and the size of the PPT will be quite big. The size of this PPT is around almost 130 MB. And if you are using some older versions like 2016, 13 or 10 or 7, in that case you cannot use the 3D models. I have added one more slide here. You can see here these planets have been created uh, uh, in Adobe Illustrator and then you can add your animations to it add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background or you can use any good image also so to change the background right mouse click go to format background and then i'm going to select uh, some dark colors here you can see here any good color you can use it either this color or this is much more lighter so let me just go with this color or if you want you can make it more darker also you can go to more colors and you can increase the shade here all right and then i'm going to insert the 3d objects uh, for that go to insert and you can see here the 3d models and this 3d models is available only in the latest version of powerpoint like office 365 and 2019 version if you are using any older version of powerpoint then this particular 3d models are not available in that one so let me just select this one and the first thing which i'm going to add here is the sun so it will take some while, a while to uh, load it and then I'm just going to type sun and press the enter key. So you can see here this particular image I'm just going to select and click the insert. It will take uh, some time to download and depending on your internet speed as well as the file size could be a bit higher. Now this particular file size is around 130 MB so you have to choose it wisely. So now I'm going to just reduce the size a little bit. You can see here, then go to format. You can just uh, align center and align middle. So let me just select this one. And then you can see here, align center and align middle. Then go to view, enable the guide so that you know exactly uh, if it is center or not. And then I'm going to add eight uh, oval shapes or the circle shapes here, okay? For that go to insert shapes and then I'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so this is the first one you can see here shape outline make it a kind of a gray or white later on we can give some different color 
shape fill make it no fill you can see here and then go to the lines and here i'm going to select the dash type as this one which is the dash you can see here and if you want you can increase the transparency level now what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this eight times and gradually going to increase the size of each uh, the circle so press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here this is the second one align center align middle so this is the second one again ctrl d third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth you can see here i've added all let me just select all the objects excluding the sun so you can hold the shift key and just click on the sun so that that one uh, will not be selected only this one is selected so go to format again align center align middle you can see here then just click outside and then i'm just going to select only one you can see here it's only one got selected so what i'm going to do i'm going to gradually increase the size so what i'm going to do is hold the control and shift key together you can see here and just increase the size gradually so this is my second one again click the one again hold the control shift key together so you can see here this is two again likewise i'm just going to increase the size one by one three four you can see here five six seven and the last one i'm going to make it eight you can see it doesn't matter if it goes outside also so you can see here now one two three four five six seven eight are there one two three four five six seven eight so if you want you can just hold the shift key and reduce this size you can see here something like this so you can uh, adjust it uh, later on also or if you want you can just align it or depending on your requirement you can keep on reducing the size so something like this it will show you now what i'm going to do i'm going to give some 3d look for this so i'm just going to hold the shift key select one by one each circle excluding the sun and then i'm going to press ctrl g to group it you can see here and then go to the effects under 3d rotation presets i'm going to choose this one under perspective you can see here relax moderately so just click it here and then you can see your rotations x y z and then i can just click on the y rotation something like this you can see here and then make sure that the sun exactly in the center and it should not be like this it should be something like this here so again if you want you can increase the size of this one because still we have the space i can just hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here and then i can just move it and then adjust the sun again in the something like this here so now i have just added the sun in and then this the axis here and now the next thing is we need to add the planets again all the planets are available here starting with i can go to the 3d models and then the first planet which i'm going to select or add is the mercury just enter key and you can see here the mercury is selected click insert again depending on your internet speed it will take some time to download so once it is downloaded i'm going to reduce the size and then you can just place it next to the sun because that is the first planet so you can see it's taking some more time so let's wait till it get it, it inserted so okay now i'm just going to reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here let me just zoom in so depending on your requirement i can just rotate also something like this can you see here then i'm just going to click here and then i'm just going to add here something like this so this is the the mercury then the next one i'm going to add the venus again i'm going to type you can see here venus enter key and again select the venus so this is the venus 
so likewise you need to add all the planets one by one as i said it was it is going to take some time so again hold the shift key reduce the size i'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the uh the mercury and then i can place it here i'll make it somewhat smaller this one more smaller and then just put it at the right position so this is at the second line here then you can add earth jupiter or mars all all different planets you need to add one by one so you can see here i have added all the different planets you can say so earth mars so jupiter venus and all those things have been added now um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to give the animation first of all let me just go to view remove the guides then close the format background and then you can go to the animations enable the animation pane and the first uh, animation i'm going to give uh, for the sun then you can see here there are some special animations for the 3d object so i'm going to use this turnable it will take some time to apply the animation because this is the 3d models it will you can see here uh, this is started rotating by itself and then double click this and i'm just going to make it smooth and smooth start and bounce into all zero and uh, the direction should be right amount should be 360 degrees and then the timings i'm going to make it extremely slow and repeat i'll say that and click ok so you can see it started rotating by itself then let's do the animation for the rest of the planets or i'm going to show you as i said only for the two planets now let's add the animation for the mercury which is going to rotate around the sun so let me just zoom in a little bit you can see here i'm just going to move uh, somewhat up something like this and then select the uh, the mercury then go to the add animation scroll down you can see the custom path here select the custom path and starting from here you can see here on the line just keep on clicking it you can see here something like this on this line only don't deviate from the line so like this i'm just going to add it see something it will go here and there not a problem later on also we can just align it and then just again bring it back to the point where we have stopped or started so just click here so now what happens here is you can see here it is started rotating and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to double click this one again smooth start smooth and make it zero timing make it extremely slow and repeat till until end of the slide you can see and click ok so let me just show you how it works uh, you can see here it is started rotating very slowly because we have put the uh, extremely slow uh, motion the timings and then you can see here it started rotating but one problem is here it start it's looking like uh, it's uh, on the uh, the sun so what i'm going to do is let me just zoom out i'm going to select the sun go to format and bring to front something like this we need to do is once we do that one and if i play again that will work perfectly all right so let's see how it rotates now i'm just going to select this one and play from i'm just clicking and it will start rotating you can see here then it should go just back side of the sun because we have bring this to front so you can see here this looks uh, perfectly all right now now what i'm going to do is two things you can do it now if you want to add any text also here what i'm going to do go to insert text box i'm just going to type mercury here or any other details you can add it not a problem i'm just going to make it white font reduce the size center align then i'm going to just copy the animation so i'm going to select this first go to the animation animation painter click on the mercury you can see here that animation has been added for the the text mercury and this should happen with previous so if i 
play here let me just zoom out let me just select both of these and play selected then what happens here is both will rotate around the sun so you can see here like this and if you want to add uh, some how many days or how many kilometers the light years it's uh, the planet is uh, from the sun all those information also you can add it but you can see here this uh, again this mercury it is not going uh, 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 below the or the back side of the this one the sun so what we need to do again we need to select the sun again bring this to front so every time when we face some problem like that we have to say bring to front so likewise you can add the animation for the rest of the planets and for some reason if you are not using the latest version like 2019 or 365 in that case you can see here i have created one more slide where's the slide uh, let me just show you here at the bottom you can see here this is uh, the planet has been done in uh, adobe illustrator so what we need to do is we just need to add the animation the same animation what we have added so for this you don't need any latest version any version of powerpoint it will work